What up YouTube? Welcome back. Another gaming review right here on the Louise 21 channel. Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Oh guys, Call of Duty is here. Welcome back, I'm Louisi21, aka Gianluca Louisi on the channel where I do so much random stuff I don't even know what to call it anymore. But we're here, it's just me and Call of Duty. Um, what a game. It's just me here on this map with this huge bridge, trying to snipe people off this bridge. Trying to. I mean I haven't got a sniper so why, why am I trying? Um, but yeah, if you know anything about Call of Duty you know uh, the most famous gun is P90, MP5, M4. And if you if you play the original Modern Warfare, you know what this gun means and what it is. And yeah, it's very similar to the other Modern Warfare games. I'm not talking about Call of Duty in general. You know, I'm not talking about that bloody Black Ops or any other game. But look at that kill. I mean, do you know what I mean, uh, the. The same adrenaline is still there. Um, and yeah. So there's a few clips from me playing the other day. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe I'm going to put in the best bits to make me look a better player than I actually am. But yeah. This is what. This is the game that, like, so many people anticipated for such a long time. Um, to go back to this, I mean, on the other Call of Duty Infinity War they did do a remastered version of the original Modern Warfare the first one there was three of them in total um, and I grew up on these games, you know what I mean the first one was the first Call of Duty game I owned it was, it was Call of Duty 4 but it was the first Modern Warfare there's been so many Call of Duty games by different game like creators and stuff um, but Modern Warfare by far was the best series yeah people like Black Ops, yeah I never did to be honest because I kind of grew off the game after Modern Warfare came World at War. Then, of course, I didn't like. Well, the first Black Ops, uh, Call of Duty, was really good. Um, and then I didn't play the others till Infinity War because I realised it had the, the remastered version of the original Modern Warfare. So I thought I better, better get this. You know, and then played that for a while. A lot of people did online and friends and stuff. Of course, you know what I mean. Like Modern Warfare was the game though. Like in in my younger in my younger days. Me and my mates, that's all we did. Come home from school and just play a bit of Call of Duty, a bit of COD, a bit of Modern Warfare. Uh, of course, after that came like the zombie mode and all that. And there was different things, but it was always that thing that was missing. Like No, no other Call of Duty really captured it in the same way. Because there were different creators and stuff. But even the Modern Warfare storyline is pretty good. Now, I haven't played that at all, so I can't comment on how that is compared to the others but what I can say is that online the graphics haven't improved massively from the previous games um, but they don't need to because there are a lot of people calling for what what made the other one so great you know um, the maps, the quality of maps, I don't know if these maps are on that level there's no map like shipment and if you know Call of Duty you know that map or shippage as we called it um, it's just crazy that map. Free for all on that map is just relentless killing and death. Um, <laughs> ridiculous. Um, but yeah, this is one of the other maps that you're seeing right now. Me playing. Um, I'm hiding out in some sort of building. Yeah, in a bar actually. Um, it's supposed to be St. Petersburg, I think. Like I said, I don't know the missions, so I don't know what means what. But there's one that's Piccadilly Circus. And that's that's jokes. Like I was there the other day, and I'm running around shooting people in the game. It's just a game, guys. Like, yeah, it does affect affect little kids, and then you get a bit violent from it. But it never affected me in that way. It just made made me realise, okay, violence is not good, because all you end up is in the grave, and it's just a video game, yeah. So treat it as just that, you know, like oh GTA and all these games like influencing kids, but no. Nah. Just playing it because it keeps my hand-eye coordination up. 
Uh, you know, it's camaraderie in some ways. You're playing online with your mates. Yeah, it's better to meet people face to face, but sometimes it just doesn't work and you're playing online. Um, like we always do. Oh, there's a guy here. Kill him. Yes. I'm a sneaky bugger I am when I'm playing. Still hiding out in this bar. Round the corner. Goodbye. Personal radar inbound. Free shot. Free kills. Free kill streak. So yeah, kill streaks are another thing that were interesting on the original. You couldn't really edit them. On here you can choose different amounts. Like after three kills you get a radar or four kills. You get something else, five kills, seven kills, and so on. You get to like ten and eleven kills. On the other one you couldn't really edit them the kill streak that much. Here you can choose like after three kills you get something, after four, after five or spread it out more, like the average is like three, five, seven or three, five, ten or something. Like the amount of kills you have to get to get either a radar or like send in an airstrike or something. Um, and yeah, I've enjoyed that and editing the classes um, is a bit different, there's a lot more stuff to edit and change in your guns and to, you know, to make your gun better and control the control, the mobility and all that stuff. And of course, for things like grenade launchers, riot shields, all other perks and stuff. Um, similar perks to what you used to with different names. Um, one of my favourites, well, a lot of people never like this is overkill where you, you can have two like main guns like you don't need a sidearm your sidearm is not can be any other gun basically that's the simplest way of putting it so what what I do is uh, I have a sniper and I have a like a MP5 as my second weapon so I can run around with the, with, with the MP5 and then find a spot and snipe for it and do both or the M4 with a kind of long range scope ACOG scope or something, or one of them styles, not necessarily red dot scope. Um, but yeah, it's just a bit about how I play um, and how I play this game, basically. So yeah, guys, anyway, that sums up all I've got to say about Call of Duty. It is the most addictive game I've ever played. I grew up playing this game. Um, it's been like more, it's like what, 12 years since Modern Warfare 1 came out and still playing Modern Warfare. Um, how could I ever forget? It's one of the first games I was properly addicted to. Before that, video games, yeah, maybe Grand Theft Auto. Didn't really play FIFA at that point. Call of Duty started my passion for any game like that. I don't, well, I don't play many others. I'm pretty fussy because of uh, how good Call of Duty is for me. Some people don't like it, it's not their thing. There's the Battlefield, Call of Duty War, you know, you're either one or the other. I've never played Battlefield, so I can't comment on Battlefield, but this is the new Modern Warfare, Call of Duty. It ain't cheap, but it's worth buying. Um, I haven't played the story mode yet, so let me know what you think of that. Um, and of course, once I've played it, I'll let you know. Um, but there'll be plenty more live streams with Call of Duty on it. This has been my review. Um, yeah, that's it basically. Enjoy whatever you're doing. If you are playing Call of Duty, just look at those kill streaks, man. Just focus on that. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, just remember that whatever level you're on doesn't actually prove how good a player you are. It's about your kill death ratio. The ratio of kills per death, and vice versa. You know, it's not about what level you're on. I'm on level what? 23, 28, no 28, but that doesn't mean anything, someone can be a huge level and they probably just rigged the game to get there, like, like on the old game there'd be so many people that would be like, that would prestige three or four times, maybe they're good and maybe the, there's the odd individual that's really good at the game, um, but some of the time they're just, they're glitching, um, I haven't seen too many glitches yet, they will appear I'm sure, um, but yeah, 52 gig to install the game. You'd think, just put the disc in and play, but no. Um, that is it from me. My little rant about Call of Duty. And yeah. Enjoy it though, if you are playing it. I'm going to go and play it right now, to be honest. Me talking about it just got me wanting to play it. And of course, for the live stream for you guys. Um, I'm not that selfish. Anyway guys, take it easy fam. Peace!